Hey everybody out there in Internet's land, it's your friendly neighborhood Francis7 here with a UOT GMAX boot camp class. This is the first lesson in this class and I hope you maggots have fun. I mean, just kidding about that maggot bit. Anyhow, uh, honestly, it's mostly painless and through this process you'll learn to make a very, very, very simple object and submit it to there.com. Hmm. All right, let's cover what we're going to do in this lesson because it can be a little confusing. First off, we're going to go to there.com where we're going to sign up for the developer program. <laughs> that can be confusing enough in and of itself. Then we're going to go to their download page and we are going to download GMAX. Then we'll install it and register it. Then we'll go back to the there.com page and we're going to download uh, the previewer, uh, which also includes all the little plugins necessary for basically uh, exporting things. Uh, and then we're going to download uh, several of the, uh, the little builder kits, including uh, the furniture and the floral builder. All of the other ones you can kind of ignore. So the first thing we're going to do is log into there.com with your username and password. And over here on the... Uh, we'll pay no attention to the fact that I've spelled the name of Miracle pictures wrong uh, and we're gonna go right over here yeah just 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 uh, just just pay no attention to that at all and we're gonna go right over here to the developer program and when you click on this link it should ask you for your email address and to agree to the the developer program uh, rules and guidelines I'm not a hundred percent sure that's gonna automatically ask you for that anymore though I will admit it has been many many moons since I signed up for the developer program uh, but once you've signed your email address up Oh, just in case it doesn't ask you for your email address, uh, it's probably going to be now under My Profile. So if, if it has, there hasn't asked you for your email address and to agree to the terms, uh, you might click on My Profile. Uh, you might also click on Getting Started, or if there's a thing that says, uh, I don't know, Join the Developer Program, there might be a thing like that where you, where you click on. So you, you, could, you, could, you could try that also as well. But basically one of these things on this page should ask you for your email address if you didn't have to put it in already to get here. And once you have put in your email address and we're all set with that, the next step is to go to the Download section. Yes, the download section. And it's not going to take too long to install all this stuff. Uh, so we're not really interested in Style Maker or painting somebody's t-shirt or the painter toolkit and all the junk that goes with that because we're not painting somebody's couch. We want to scroll down to the Builder Toolkit section. And uh, first off, we're going to go over here to the Turbo Squid website. And we're just going to click on this link. And it'll take us right here. On the right hand side you should see GMAX with a big huge button that says free download. Go ahead and download GMAX and it'll ask where do you want to save it and we'll probably save this. It's nice to have the installer and uh, if I view the downloads I can see it. It's actually named GMAX 1.2 but the point isn't there and I've done this video a couple times now so uh, it's an executable file so once it's done, done downloading uh, then you can run and install that. Now, upon starting up GMAX, the first thing it's going to ask you to do is register GMAX. And uh, there's a little bit of a website thing involved with that where you have to give them uh, your uh, name, uh, probably your social security number. I think you have to leave a pint of blood as a deposit. No, it's free. Uh, and honestly, I don't think they've ever emailed me about anything. Uh, but basically, once you've got that, it'll also ask you uh, how you want to run this, with what driver you want to run it with. Um, and because you're probably running there in, in like DirectX or what used to be called Direct, this shows the program's age, doesn't it? Direct 3D. Uh, you probably want us to use, for, while we're doing the class, Heidi, uh, and then say OK to that. Uh, but, uh, you know, honestly, uh, it'll probably work out either way. Just realize that um, if you are going to run in Direct 3D, you probably want to run it in a window and not full screen mode. Um, or at least save often because you may have some problems if you're coming in and out of there and you're using uh, Direct 3D or maybe you just want to use OpenGL and avoid the whole thing. But uh, Heidi usually works pretty good. That's just the default basically using your computer to do a lot of the processing power. By the way, you may want to reset this later, so let me show you how to do that. So later on, if you want to come back and reset this, it's Customize, Customize Menu and Preferences. And once you've got Customize and Preferences, it is the Viewports tab up at the top. 
and down near the bottom right there's a little thing called choose driver and that'll let you switch it back because it'll bring up the same box so if you're curious where that box is hidden and it is hidden pretty well alrighty now we've got gmax set up but it's really not set up to make their models now we're gonna go back to the there.com website and we'll just go back here a ways and we're gonna scroll down once again to the builder toolkit and we are going to want to uh, download uh, the furniture builder tool uh, templates they're probably the most useful of the bunch and also you might just want to have the tree node because at the end of this video which I made earlier in the day I discovered uh, that really I was gonna submit it as a tree because that was cheaper so uh, you might also want those um, actually when you download these they're zip files so you could just say open them and I'm pretty darn sure they're safe we've used them a lot and basically uh, create a folder on your desktop and drag all these in here another interesting thing about them and I can't show you this because it is actually indeed a zip file but there are a lot of nice their textures in here and you can use them in your own models which is pretty darn cool so uh, some 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 helpful things also you might be interested if you're interested in using some their textures and making some their like buildings the construction builder templates have a few of the Roman textures so some nice uh, rock and foundation things um, and uh, the floral has a variety of uh, plant leaves and things like that which are also sort of useful as well as a nice lattice so you might want to download those and, and uncompress them all put them in a folder on your desktop okay now that you have got those installed it's time to actually run the previewer and exporters and I've already have them installed so I really can't show you this but basically uh, there's a little bit of a use agreement and it will install a previewer and a variety of other things which will appear under your start menu and I'll go to all programs and they'll be in the folder marked there and there should be a whole bunch of them and once you're installed you should now see previewer probably won't see style maker and unless you already had it and you should see an install gmax exporter and that's the key one that we really need you need to now that we've got gmax up and running and registered you need to run this install the gmax exporter and uh, it may ask you where gmax is by the way when you're installing gmax it's a good idea to install it to the default location don't put it on a secondary hard drive now that you've got the exporter installed fire up gmax again and we'll test it one last time by going to the file menu and selecting export once you go file and export you should see a basically like a save di type dialog box window and there's a pull down at the bottom and if you pull that pull down triangle the save as file type try type of triangle there you should see their model exporter if you don't uh, it may be for a variety of reasons first of all you may have done these steps out of order um, gmax has to be installed to the default location in order for I think the uh, the exporter installer to find a gmax um, for most machines that's actually I think running off the C drive I don't think it actually installs in more modern machines into um, like the program files folder so uh, if you've installed it to another drive that may also be a problem like if you have like a drive C and a drive D or something like that and you even put it on D you may need to reinstall gmax anyhow hopefully you're gonna see this and then we're all done alrighty looks like we're about done with this lesson um, basically I hope you had a good time um, installing software and not really knowing what the heck you were doing but trust me by the end of this course and the fourth lesson you'll actually oh well you'll have a lot to do actually it looks like I'm late for event said event so I better get going oh uh, yeah oh it's full great it's full oh well <laughs> anyhow you guys have a great time and uh, I'll see you around man that's surprising